Why, what made you choose Fendi to partner with? Well, I've always been obsessed with them. People saw me rocking it before they had to shoot. They called me down to Milan and they said that my, their, their profit margin went up because of Chun Li. And I was like, that's dope of them to say that to me. Because a lot of people still feel that, but they won't tell you. They won't tell a lot of people in our culture that we have contributed to the sales of their brand. So that automatically made me respect them so much. And of course, I mean, growing up, well, I mean, as a little kid, Queens, New York, we all wanted to be able to rock Fendi and those kind of brands. So I was happy that, you know, they be shop. Right, so you branded a Fendi fat. Like, everybody says that, I say that too. Like, oh, it's a Fendi fat. So, um, is that what led to the partnership? Because you well, branded that? no, um, Chun Li, when I said Fendi Prince song, yeah. that's what really made them. And then Carl Lagerfeld, rest in peace, he was alive, and they gave me, uh, they gave me permission to use Fendi on the cover art for the Chun Li song. Which they don't, they're not normally that, you know, lenient. So I was excited about that, and then they let me use it in my Barbie Tunes video, and then next thing you know, they said, you know, once the song came out, the sales so this, for the clothes that had the Fendi prints on them went up. Because they said that those clothes, you know, with the logos, they said those weren't really selling as much until the song came out. So I was like, yes. Okay, perfect. So, um, Hot Girl Summer is currently killing it on the <laughs> Billboard charts. Yes. Um, you guys want a VMA? Like, how do you feel yes. about that? You know? Oh my God, I'm so excited that Megan asked me to be a part of that record. And Juicy J, um, shout out to Ty Dolla Sign. I love the song. So as soon as I heard it, I mean, people think that I heard, I knew about it before, but I only found out about it when we went on live that day together. And I was like, oh really? Um, I never heard it. You wanted me to want it? Let me hear it. And when I heard it, I literally wrote it right then and there that night. <laughs> my voice was so hoarse, I was like, you know what, let me record it in the morning, like 6 o'clock in the morning. And I got up and recorded it, and I spoke to her, and I was like, hey, I, I sent it to her, and I was like, you know what, I changed my mind. There's one line I think is a little too old to say in there. And I asked her if it was cool, and she was like, yeah, it's cool, whatever you want to do. So I changed that line, and then Hot Girl Summer, then we saw each other at the video, and she kept on trying to get me the drink. And I was like, leave me alone, leave me alone, crazy girl. So you girls. didn't ride the boat? Did you find it? <laughs> nope. Nope. I let her, I, let, I think I, let, I made her drive the boat. Okay. On the, on the video shoot. We had a great time. I really, 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 really loved doing the video. I loved her vibe. And so, you know, okay. No, we've been counting down the days until you get married. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've been counting it down. I think we only. I, so, is it happening? In we gotta, because then if we don't, we're gonna have to go and do the um, license again. And that's what happened the first time. So, I don't wanna have to do it again. But the thing is, the person who I wanted to marry us is in uh, New York, and I have not Is it a like, particular travel. pastor? It is a particular pastor, yeah. A famous pastor that we know? No, no, it's not, oh. it's not famous. It's my, my pastor. She's not famous, but I love her, and I want her to do it. So, it's funny that you ask, because I just spoke to her earlier, and she's going to fly down to do it for us, to do our now. Okay, perfect. Okay, and so, my last question, because I don't want to take up all your time. Um, you said you were retiring, and I feel like everybody is shocked and traumatized by that statement. <laughs> so, um, are you really retiring? Are you going to drop your last album? The answer is, I don't know and I don't know. The thing is, a lot of, a lot of music I already obviously had done before that retirement tweet. But then, you know, it's weird. I'm like one of those parents who spoil their kids, because once my fans were sad about something, I feel the need to like make it up to them or do something, and I, I didn't realize my fans would take it that like that bad. So I was like, uh, let me let me take pull that back real quick, and I deleted the tweet, and it had like probably six hundred thousand likes by the time I did delete it on CNN and everything. And I was I was, I didn't think anybody would really take it that serious. However, I am still contemplating if I want to put out another album. That is a fact. Okay. 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 I lied. This is my last question okay. for sure. Um, in the industry, you kind of been the, I don't want to say the punching bag, but you have been the black woman to kind of pioneer for a lot of other black women, and you kind of take all the heat and all the um, hate and all of the all of that. So how do you deal with that? Like, have you reconciled, like, what your position is and what your purpose is? I figured it out the other day. I figured out that my enemies are the ones, or the, I don't even call them my enemies, they're not even important to call that. Um, he, the naysayers, they're the ones that recognize my potential the most, I think. And they are, they've always been afraid of my potential and afraid of what I'm capable of doing. But, but the love always outweighs the bad, so I'm focusing on, like, not focusing on that nonsense. Um, but 
I will tell any woman, any woman, you know, black or whoever, but especially us black women, we, we always have to explain what we do, what we say more than other people. We can't have an off day. It's something wrong. It, you know, it, we always get have these stigmas put on us. You know, that we black, bitter woman or whatever, when we speak up, when we speak truth. And a lot of things that I have said later on, they'll be like, oh, Nikki was right. Oh, Nikki Ben said that. So I realized, you know what, Nikki? Shut the fuck up, be quiet, and let people find out on, on their own in their own time. And I wish everybody, honestly, I wish everybody the best. Like, I don't have no ill will. My fans are so precious to me that I could never spend my time worrying about negativity. And plus, I'm starting a new, like, chapter of my own life where